Now this game is called the 8% battery game. How much battery are we gonna keep going through for this haul? I don't know. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, I have been gone. I've been gone for a while from doing sit down videos, from doing videos in general. I feel like I've been here and there, not really everywhere. I've been kind of in a funk the last few months. I could fully a minute. However, we're not gonna dwell on it. It is what it is. Been going through some things, but we're here and obviously it's getting warmer. I'm on spring break this week that I'm filming this that hopefully you guys will see this. <laughs> I have long nails right now, so you know what that means. I have a haul. I have a haul. I am prepping for summer. I am super excited. I also bought some things, so let's just jump right in because this is me. Hi. All the way back. I've been saving this stuff for a long time. I got some stuff from Amazon. The first thing is this random <laughs> Con Air. I just lost what... What is this? This is a Con Air. <laughs> That's all there is. It's a Con Air. <laughs> Con Air curling iron obviously this was 10 bucks on Amazon I wanted to try it because it has a clamp and I used to have ones with clamps and not like them I'm at a point in my life where just I don't know how to do my hair I don't know what I'm doing my hair is short I'm not a fan yes it's growing but we need to just do something about that I got one to try out and see if I like it skims dupe black dress off of Amazon as well because I don't feel, oh, I don't know. I just wanted to try a dupe first before I actually buy the real one. One of my friends is supposed to be having F to your 20s, 30th birthday party next month and I'm supposed to wear all black. So I figured a nice long back dress would do the trick. So we'll see how this works. And if not, it's going back. Placement heads for my Clarisonic. I buy these on Amazon. Why are you gonna spend 50 on two? That makes no sense. I replace these every three months. I think you're supposed to do it every three months. I do it once mine start to get gross, but these are the sensitive ones. Those are the only ones that work for me. This is also random, but I can show you guys right now. I bought this phone case again. And I guess we could show off the cute little bling that's around my camera that I also got from Amazon. I will have all of the Amazon stuff into my storefront. I recently just updated it after like two months because I suck and I'm not a real influencer. So there's that. This case again, this is the third time I've had this case for my phone. I just really love this case. And I got the matching eye. I was gonna say iPod. Oh my gosh. The matching AirPod case to go with it. Why not? Don't touch me just don't sephora i got something so for one of my friends for her 30th birthday i'm building her like a gift so alba don't be watching this i went to sephora and i did get a couple things for myself i returned the rare beauty stuff i talked about in a vlog and i got one of her tinted lip oils that i have yet to try because i've just been like holding on to it for a haul because i knew i was going to be doing one i'm just really excited i got the shade hope so i hope <laughs> I hope it looks nice on me. A little pink moment right there. So we'll see how she goes. The only thing with Rare Beauty lip products is that she just has a lot of warm tones. I need like some kind of mauve -y. I need a little cool tone in there. So I hope eventually she does come out with more cooler tone shades. This, this was from Target. I got a whole thing of the Eva NYC Therapy Mask hair. That's not what that said. That's not what that said at all. <laughs> Rewind, go back, let's try again. Therapy Session Hair Mask. I like the old packaging better. It was much more bright and pretty, but it's okay. I've actually been using this hair mask for a while and nobody tell my hair girl, but <laughs> sorry, Kayleen. I have actually been kind of switching to drugstore stuff again. I know there's a whole conspiracy whole theory on TikTok and I think in general that basically drugstore is a lot better for your hair than high-end products and after me going through my whole Olaplex situation with being obsessed with Olaplex and then having all my hair break off yeah yeah I know that this isn't just a drugstore this is also like I don't know I don't know if you consider Eva NYC drugstore I'm using some salt air Sol hair, salt hair, I don't know how you want to say that. Products right now, and they've been very good to me. So drugstore, I go back on a lot of things I say. <laughs> Let's be real, but I always feel like things are always changing as times go on. Like everyone wants to cancel someone for this amount of time and then they come back and everyone loves them again. It's just like a whole thing. Like everything's always changing. Ulta order. I don't remember when this is from. I think this is from like the beginning of March. So yeah, we've been here for a while. I got some stuff for summer. Amazing Maui Bay Browning Lotion. I wanted to get this 
this because I usually get the fox tan stuff, which I like, but I don't know. I just wanted something different this year. I just wanted to try this one instead of the fox tan one this year, so I grabbed that to make my tan nice and dark and nice when I go out in the sun. I got this Kapari Rose Gold Sun Shield Body Glow SPF 45. This Kapari Sun Shield Rose Gold Body Glow just because a TikTok, it looks so pretty. Just thought that this would be great for like days when I do go out if I decide to like, I don't know, go go some go out somewhere where my chest is going to be out and my arms and my legs and stuff like that because I do sometimes get a shorts tan and a tank top tan and it's just not a fun time so and also to protect my skin and to have a little glow and this is what it looks like it just looks so cool in the bottle so hopefully this is worth it this is also from Sephora I totally forgot to even mention this I ended up getting the Sharosa 68 Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit I don't know I smelt it in the store and I was like I should probably buy that I don't know it just smelled really good to me and I know that one of my friends Alba she loves the scent too gave it a chance it kind of smells like cloud to me speaking of smelling good because I just love smelling good the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Fragrance Shimmer Mist hello finally completing the entire collection of products that I've had from this line. I'm very excited for this. Again, spray a little, oh, hair. You can put this in your hair. Oh, I'm excited. I'm super excited. I love Tropic Glow. Obviously love Sol de Janeiro, which we'll get into that because I did get some stuff from there. It's a definite second if I can't get Sol de Janeiro or I just don't want to spend the money. Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. Obviously, I have short hair. My hair is very flat. It's very fine. I had a lot of breakage going on, so I just need something to give a little extra texture and I do love Living Proof as a brand. For my hair, it's worked very well for me. Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Cowboy. Everyone has been talking about this, or I feel like everyone was talking about this like a month ago and now no one really cares. I've always loved to just put some kind of eyeshadow like this in my inner corner just to brighten up my eyes. I got another one, as if I don't already have like three, but you know. Another CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. I love these glosses. They're so good. Havana Good Time. So like having a good time, but Havana, ha 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 ha, the play on words. I love it. She's like a bubblegummy pink, kind of a little dark. Elf lipstick in Dirty Talk. This is the O Face Satin Lipsticks that are apparently are really good we'll see if this looks good if the formula is good this is for i don't i don't even know this is by the brand de bomb bath the girls that made their bath bombs that have like surprises inside but this is a shower steamer and i thought this would be really good for when i get sick of moving on bag from target i went to target with my mom this past friday because i was off oh why can't i speak i went to target with my mom this past friday to return some stuff because we all know now i'm a chronic returner which is good this is the last one the plum beauty obsidian sculpting gua sha. I don't know what happened to my gua sha. I haven't had it for a while. I think I might have either left it at my mom's when I slept at her house or it's in a bag somewhere. I don't know. See with my deodorant. Don't know what happened to that either. I just got the obsidian one because obsidian is really good for drawing out negative energy and negativity. And I thought this would be perfect and I'm very happy it comes in obsidian now. I got this Odell clarifying shampoo for deeply weekly clean that brings you back to neutral which I love because I really like my away one. We whatever you want to call it detox shampoo I don't really want to spend that amount of money and now knowing that people are going back to drugstore once their hair gets really fucked up from salon products all right I'll try this out and see how it goes let me know if you've tried this if this works really well I have been wanting okay so I ended up getting underwear in this set this Hanes print I could never find a bra and I did this one isn't a large though so hopefully it fits debatable i don't know and if it doesn't it's going to go back but it's just so cute and pink and i'm always down for a good comfy bra i'm so tired of literally thinking back to when i first started my channel and even in high school with like these big victoria's secret bras like what why no absolutely not never again clothes from the jockey line from jo I don't know, jockey generation i don't know i always walk by it in target but ladies and gentlemen, if you know, if you have a partner, a husband, a wife that does not let you <laughs> when you want to, I'm not saying that David doesn't let me buy things because I still buy things, but I can tell that, you know, he gets a little like, oh, you don't need that. Like, come on, let's go. So, you know, like, but shopping on your own is a little bit different, you know, comfy clothes to wear, sleep jogger. And I really like them because they're different and have like the white line down them. But they remind me of the pairs that I've had for like the last few years that I always wear constantly over and over again. So it'll be perfect also for summertime and PJs in Maine because David and I, yes, are going to Maine this summer, August, but that's okay. <laughs> 
That's how we gotta live our lives now. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a little out of my head. Cropped shirts. This one, oh, I thought this one had, oh, it does. Has a pocket on there and a sleep shirt. And then I also got it in white because some of my, let's face it, I wanted these so I bought them, but I also have some like Victoria's Secret crop shirts like this I've had since like 2019 that need to go. It's 2023. We're done with that. I totally forgot the last thing in here is this Sally Hansen Good Kind Pure Lasting Color Polish in Mystic Topaz. Just because the color really got to me. It's like really shimmery and pretty in there. Hopefully you guys can pick up that chromatic effect. But I thought this would be really pretty. Maybe I'll throw this on my nails after this week. I don't know because obviously this week we're all about the chromatic. Hope that I can still film a little bit before this dies and I have to charge the camera again. Obviously Ulta was having a sale. I actually ended up stocking up on some stuff from Sol de Janeiro. I again recently went through my stash. I am donating a lot of it, which is crazy. I ended up returning a lot of stuff that I bought within the last couple months that I was not going to use and gave some stuff away. I felt like this was a perfect time to get some more of the stuff that I love and that I use all the time. Not that the stuff that I bought I didn't love. I just knew that some of it I was not going to be using and I just bought in the moment because it's so exciting. Oh my god. It's just something we're still trying to break. Obviously Ulta is having their sale and unfortunately some of the stuff that I bought came broken. So let's just let's just dive right into this. I got a couple of tree hut scrubs. I got the watermelon one which you guys can see is all cracked and broken but I'm just gonna keep her and I'm gonna end up using her in the summer anyway because watermelon from Tree Hut is definitely obviously one of my favorite scents and then I got the Tropic Glow scrub to go with that body butter cuz when I don't want to spend money on the boom boom cream I reach for that I got this little three set which I've had before this is formula butter glow face palette which came with a broken highlighter that I repressed and I'm just gonna live my life I don't know I feel like the last time I had this palette the highlighter broke in it too times good times everything that I bought the only reason I bought was because it was on sale and I got some more glamnetic nails I really love these these were buy two get one free however one a set of nails I think is coming alone by itself I don't know why I got the we don't like her I don't support mean girls but I do like these nails the Haley short almond nails so we're just gonna refer to them not as Haley nails and just really cute pretty little white nails basically and then literally got some white nails so those are the ones that I grabbed. And then I forgot the other one that I got, but I'll probably throw it in a vlog or something. Hand sanitizer. Yes, I know in the last haul I got a sanitizer, but I've really been using these a lot lately because just people be gross. People be stanking. Like, uh-uh. So this is the Touchland Smiley Collab Mango Passion. There's a three set on Amazon I want, but we're going to control ourselves. Gooby's got her zoomy. Truly stuff. I haven't had any truly stuff in a while. Smoothing butt polish, tighten and glow, happy hairless shave cream. I just really love their shaving creams, their shave butter, whatever you want to call it. It's just really, really nice. I love the texture. Then obviously I love the Buns of Glory butt polish because it smells like watermelon and the smell is just so good. A couple of cool sunscreens. I love the sunscreen so much. It's organic. It is like vegan, I think. I don't know. Cruelty free, farm to face, vegan, gluten free, all that good stuff. I just really love them and it's unfortunate that they cost so much money but when they're on sale for the last couple things that I got from Ulta I just restocked on CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion for nighttime and the skin renewing night cream I love both of these they're I mean I guess you would say they're like drugstore inexpensive ish compared to a lot of other skincare out there but I think it's worth it and they were on sale so definitely but if it came down to it if I was going to get one or the other of what's cheaper this is cheaper both of these are really good I really love CeraVe as a brand they've been very good to me finally the finale she's already set up in the other room I love her I've been on the hunt for the giant one that changes colors and everything however but instead we got the Hello Kitty LED rechargeable mirror which I am super super excited about I'm so happy I got this I've been wanting a new mirror for a while mine has been cracked for years and it has a lot of features to it you could hook your phone into it and it could play audio you can take phone calls through it which is great love that except the fact that a again the mirrors cracked and I don't use it for that I literally just use it as a light so I just needed a change and this was on sale for $76 originally like 110 or something like that so that was a deal for me what I also love about this I'm not sponsored by the way you can wirelessly charge your phone 
on the pad, which I think is awesome. All this is magnetized, so literally you could take the mirror off and just use the mirror, or you could stick it on or whatever, and you can travel with it, which is something I obviously want to do when we go to Maine this summer and take it with me. Also has a dimmer on it, soft touch sensor dimmer switch. I have to look into that. Obsessed. And I'm very happy that I bought her because I wanted the giant one for so long, and obviously it's not happening because your girl's going to be doing something else. So uh, I'll let you guys know that when it happens. So next... I got some Sol de Janeiro. I got some Boom Boom Cream. I had to. I got them off of the website, actually, which I haven't done in a really, really long time. I thought, why not? You know, just why not? Since I was getting rid of a lot of my stash, let's put some stuff in there again that I love. I got another restock of the Boom Boom Cream. It is just the best. I just, I can't. This or the Tropic Glow from Tree Hut are the best. It's like my favorite scent of life. Seriously, I just, I can't. And then I got a giant, giant, you are not going to find anything this big on Sephora. Let me tell you. A giant <laughs> shower cream gel, which different bottle, not used to this. I'm used to it being in that weird, like triangle shaped bottle, but hey, Times are changing. I got this little bag because I ended up doing this deal where if you pick four like small things in a bag and it was like one set price, which I thought it was cute. And I love that it says, love it, flaunt it, you've got it. And it just says Sol de Janeiro on there. But I also got some other stuff, including the deodorant. I really like this deodorant. It works well for me. And I got the refill for it, which environmentally friendly, yeah. This is kind of unnecessary, but literally all I've been using to brush my hair lately has been wide tooth combs. So I just got this cute, Sol de Janeiro one that's yellow and really pretty just for the summertime and throw it in my bag and go. I don't know. I just really have been into using combs rather than my brush, but that's just me. For my little small things that I picked out, I got, again, have had these before. It didn't work, but I want to try them again. New and improved formula, the strengthening, smoothing shampoo and conditioner. And I got a little mini of the shower gel, this cute little bottle, a little mini of the hair repair treatment that I actually never tried because I was too scared it was going to ruin my hair and I gave it away. Regrets. It's okay. And then I got the milky leave-in conditioner because I wanted to try that. Everything that I got from Sol de Janeiro. Gotta be prepped for summer. Last bag is literally from today. Going to Walmart. I just picked up a couple things that I needed so it's not that exciting but I wanted to throw it in anyway. But the most exciting part obviously. Ta-da! Obviously the most exciting part is these tumblers. I've seen these all over TikTok and I had to get a couple for the house. They are color changing. They're watermelon needless to say. I have some cups in my cabinet I need to get rid of because they are they're not good. They're falling apart literally at the seam. We stocked on my native whitening with fluoride. I was gonna say shampoo. Yep, let's put this in our hair. Make it nice and minty. No, toothpaste that I really love. This is like my favorite toothpaste of all time. Really love it a lot. Walmart has an Equate version of TheraBreath. So I ended up getting <laughs> the Equate Smooth Mint Oral Rinse, which is comparable to TheraBreath, but I just wanted to try it. Because Last but not least, I got the e.l.f. Good Vibes Only Soft Velvet Primer, only because I heard it was really, really good, and I'm always down for a good primer. That was my haul, my getting ready for summer haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking through me. <laughs> through me. Oh my god. <laughs> like, face palm, high school, hi. I've been a little out of my head, so I apologize if I seem a little weird in this video goober i appreciate you guys so much thank you for sticking around with me i am hopefully coming back to more consistent content and consistent stuff i've just been dealing with some life stuff everything's okay also have just not been a big fan of my hair and i can't wait for it to grow back at this point this was a absolutely not why did we do this <laughs> two weeks after i did it i was like why now i'm stuck great i'm very excited for summertime I'm super pumped to go to maine and to just relax and all the fun things so i hope you guys enjoyed this video helped you in some way definitely go check out my amazon storefront i've updated it so hopefully it is all updated to things that i've recently bought things that i recently love all that kind of stuff also let me know if you guys would like to see another like stuff i've been loving recently video or like i don't know a video about amazon stuff i bought if it's worth it literally going through my orders list and I tell you if the stuff I bought was worth it or not or if I returned it I think that'd be kind of interesting because I know we're still in the time of de-influencing so I don't know if you guys want me to influence you I'm not really a influencer I just talk about what I like so I don't know I think that might be coming soon but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye I'm literally out of my head if you guys only knew